Hi, welcome to my station, Chats with Flo. I give Christian and relationship advice for your everyday life. I am so happy and the reason why is I have learned how to face my fears. I have learned not to be afraid to try something new, to try something out of the ordinary. I have discovered that my fears can lead me to my destiny. Learning how to face my fears it has helped me in so many ways. The best thing about it is that some things that I have always feared, I am actually falling in love with. I'm an introvert, so I think more than I speak. I actually enjoy spending time alone and just thinking. I have always had a hard time expressing myself just because of it. Spending time alone, it's okay sometimes. And I think that everybody needs to do it sometimes because it even helps you just to rejuvenate. But if you spend too much time alone, you're always absorbing things, learning new things. It is your job to share, to be a help to someone else. Don't just keep it all in. Try to find a way to build help to somebody else. In this video, I'm going to share with you the benefits of facing your fears. If you haven't seen my previous video, How to Face Your Fears, make sure you check it out. In that video, I talked about some of the things that I feared. And my number one fear was public speaking. What helped me to overcome public speaking is just by starting my YouTube channel. Just by making those videos, they freed me. I thought that I was only doing them to help others, but I didn't realize how much help it was to myself. Words can't express how I feel, but one of the things I do know is that I feel so empowered. And the reason why I feel so empowered is because I discovered something that I love. I feel free because I'm able to express myself. Can you just imagine to where if you never express yourself, you always just was the listener. But sometimes the person that listen need to express some of their thoughts. You'll be surprised how many people you can help by just communicating expressing how you feel, talking about some of the things that you have overcome, talking about some challenges in your life, talking about things that you love, things that motivate you. It frees you. Facing my fears has built my self-confidence. It made it to where I'm not afraid just to put myself out there. Facing my fears has freed my insecurities. And the reason why is because when you face something that you feel like you can't do and that you will be awful at, and once you start doing it, it frees you from yourself, from your insecurities. Facing your fears will empower and rejuvenate you. Facing your fears will help you not to be as afraid to try new things. And of course, Facing your fears is not going to take all your fears away, but it, but it helps you to just do what you need to do. Facing your fears helps you not to be so afraid to try new things. Facing your fears will help open up so many different areas in your life. Things that you may not even realize that you are interested in. Things that you hate, you may end up loving. Facing your fears will help you to come out of your comfort zone. It may even help you walk into your destiny. Facing your fears frees you from yourself. So I challenge you to face your fears, to walk into freedom and just watch. New doors will open for you you will discover so much more about yourself by just facing your fears. I want to invite you to join my Facebook group called Chats with Flow. 
Chat Swift Flow is for Christian women. I want to be a help to women of all ages. So if you want to grow, join my Facebook group. If this video was a help to you, please leave me a comment at the bottom. What do you fear? Have you faced any of your fears? If so, I would like to know. And as always, thank you for watching Chats with Flow. Talk to you guys later. Bye.